Well, the big dump of snow this past week has meant more ski fields across the country have been able to open. And the Prime Minister was among the punters wanting to be the first on the slopes. It's a welcome boost for ski resort towns that are gearing up for a busy winter season with the return of international tourists. Emma Turton reports. New Zealand's winter season has officially begun. I can tell you for you. The Prime Minister was one of thousands vying to be the first on the white stuff at the Remarkables. We're open and you can see already that people are enjoying themselves. And for the first time in two years, it's not just Kiwis hitting the snow. Getting that Australian market back online is huge for not just the ski areas, but also our local towns. Aussie tourists make up 70% of ski visitors, so operators are keen to get them back on the slopes. Just seeing the Australians come in, fill up the hotels, fill up the bars and restaurants is just going to be absolutely fantastic for Queenstown and Methven. The tourism minister also welcoming their return, with our borders opening up to more of the world soon. We're expecting to see up to 50 flights a day into Queenstown. Further up country, at Mount Hutt, where Cantabrians have kept the ski field going for the past two years, they're also excited to welcome overseas tourists back. It's been a comfortable start to the season for Mount Hutt, with a couple thousand people through on the opening weekend, compared to last year when they were slammed with 7,000 people. But the same pre-pandemic problems exist for workers in ski resort towns. Finding a place to stay... It is difficult this season. The market's been disrupted over the last couple of years. We've had um, probably more people coming into the resort who haven't already got accommodation sorted. Although staffing numbers are sorted with 275 critical worker exemptions from Immigration New Zealand, operators are keen to get back to a more normal ski season. Take it easy, you know, we've got 110, 112 days of skiing to sort of happen. It's day two. So just take your time, come up and enjoy. It's going to be a big year for us, for sure. You can see the joy that people have being out there again today. A big year attracting visitors from around the big wide world. Emma Turton, News Hub.